Mark, you mentioned uh, about the local schools uh, situation. And here in Marin, the Tamil Pius Union School District and more recently, Larkspur Court Madeira are having serious financial problems. Mm -hmm. And much of that is attributable to the increased contributions the districts mm -hmm. have to make that's right. to CalSTRS yep. for pensions. Yep. And that's dictated by AB 1469. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any movement afoot to modify the requirements of 1469 yeah. and uh, more generally to bail out some of the school districts who can't afford this cost, which cuts back on delivering educational services? It's a great question. I've talked with the schools about it. And it, it, as I mentioned earlier, and Jill had a question, I just want to make sure that people who got overlooked um, get, get a turn, um, that uh, this is happening that as we're ratcheting up the school district contribution, I mean, look, let's fir first remember, they made promises they need to keep. So we're expecting the school districts to keep their pensions solvent, and they've got to do more to keep those promises. That is bucking up right up against the demographic downward uh, shift in school population. So they're getting less revenue as they're being expected to contribute more. So we've heard this for years, and in the budget proposal this year, the governor has proposed about just under $3 billion to pay down STRS in one big bite um, that will have probably about 7 to $8 billion of, of f lower payments later. And then this year, about seven to eight hundred million dollars to help individual districts' contributions as well. So we're attempting to get at that. I think the 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 challenge is long term is that going to be sustainable? Because if they're paying at that increased highest percentage, and I'm going to get it wrong if I say what it is, but I think it's in the high teens, um, that uh, that they might not be able to get the money in the classroom that the students need. So eighteen percent, yeah. So. Uh, so we're looking at it, and I think that the governor has been receptive to helping the districts out. Um, we are also, you know, going to have to have the districts look very carefully at all of the benefits that they give and that they, they negotiate going forward and have a really uh, honest conversation with their constituents about those costs. We've seen uh, parcel taxes have a much more difficult time in local districts than they've had in the past because uh, of the concern of where those dollars are going to go.